Hi, I'm Amy Gann from ASI. We're here with REI Co-op, and we're going to be talking about Intro to Freestyle. These are the five basic tricks to get you started riding freestyle. The tricks we're covering are going to be the most basic freestyle tricks. They're tricks within themselves, but they're also the building blocks for almost every other freestyle trick. We're going to be covering ollies, nose presses, tail presses, 50-50s, and straight airs off of a jump. Ollies are the most basic freestyle trick. It's basically generating pop from your board and getting air off of flat ground. To do this trick, scoot the board forward towards your nose, shifting the weight over your back foot, then jump off the back foot, and when in the air, match your feet evenly so that you can come down and land with both feet at the same time. Tail presses are great beginner tricks because we start shifting our weight over different parts of our board, specifically our tail. To do a tail press, we want to focus on keeping alignment with our shoulders and hips with the board. We want to shift our weight to the tail of the board, making sure our center mass, our core, moves over the back foot. This should start to bring the nose of the board off the ground a little bit, but if it's not, you may need to pick up that front foot just a tiny bit. You're going to use this trick on flat ground terrain and mix it in with other tricks, as well as taking it into the park, using it on boxes, rails, and other features. Nose press is very similar to the tail press, but this time we're going to be shifting our weight over the nose of the board and picking up the tail. We use this on flat ground terrain and in the park. To do this trick, shift your weight over the nose of the board. Make sure that you flex your front leg a lot. This is going to keep you in balance. You may need to pull up your back leg just a little bit to get that board off the ground. You want to make sure that your shoulders and hips stay in line with the board, if we start to open up, we may start to spin on accident. You can do this standing still and stationary before you try it on the hill. This is the most fundamental trick on a box or a rail, and it's riding straight across the box. The most important thing is that we keep our board flat. Your first time doing a 50-50, you're going to want to practice this skill on flat ground before you move it onto a box. What we want to really focus on is being able to ride a perfectly flat board for a certain distance. To do this, we need to make sure that our ankles, knees, and hips are in line with the board and really flexed and relaxed. The goal is to not get on edge, which is kind of weird because we're normally on edge when we snowboard. Practice this until you're really comfortable keeping that board completely flat for that entire distance. When looking for a good box to try this on for the first time, you want to find a box that's low to the ground and short. You want to make sure that the box doesn't have a gap from the takeoff to the box and that you can just ride on without having to jump. It's a good idea to watch other people doing this so you know how much speed to take into it. As we drop in for the box for the first time, we're going to be making all our adjustments in the zone before the takeoff. This is when we can change our speed and get lined up for the box. As we head up the takeoff, this is when we want to flatten our board and make sure that we're totally aligned with our board and the box so that we can make it across smoothly. As we get onto the box, this is when we want to relax our ankles and knees, make sure that that board is completely flat. Look to the landing, and as you come off the end of the box, you just want to relax and absorb the landing, ideally landing with both feet at the same time. A straight air is just using a jump properly in a park. So we're going to be taking off the takeoff and landing in the landing zone. This is the foundation for all jumps in the park. These are the same skills we're going to be using when we add on tricks later like grabs or spins. When looking for your first jump, you want to find something that's pretty small. Hopefully only 5 or 10 feet. You also want to find a jump that if you don't quite make it to the landing zone, it's not going to be a big deal. As I approach the jump, I focus on the takeoff. And as I get in the air, I look to the landing and focus on that until I'm all the way down on the ground and riding away. As we head into the jump, we may be making small adjustments to get our speed right. As we roll up the takeoff, we want to be flattening our board and maybe with a little bit of pressure on the toe edge. While you're in the air, you really want your body to be in line with the trajectory. So as you go off the takeoff, your shoulder is going to be at the same angle. And throughout the maneuver in the air, you're going to be floating so that when you get to the landing, everything's in line and matched with the angle of the landing. Stay relaxed and in a comfortable athletic stance so that when you land, you can absorb comfortably. Give yourself a lot of time to practice these tricks. Get a lot of mileage under your belt. That'll just make you more comfortable and more versatile. Use these tricks all over the mountain, and we hope you enjoy them. We hope you learned something from this video. Please check out our others and hit the subscribe button.